Team Deathmatch. Hey, it's Gus Canillan back with another gameplay commentary. Now, I don't have a lot of time here, so I'm just going to dive right into this commentary. Lakers fans, it's time that we all face the music. The Lakers aren't going to be doing shit this year. The Lakers are pathetic, and they don't get the job done. They don't get the job done even when they're handed games where they should just pretty much take over and they should be easy victories. Good teams don't pull this shit. Now, it's been a while since I've done a Lakers commentary. It's been about a week. And uh, what I wanted them to do is I wanted them to go on the road, do their little three-game road trip, come back against Sacramento, play the Suns, and then kind of give a recap. So let's do that now. Let's do that, and then I'll explain to you why I think this pathetic team is done. So they go to Orlando, and as I said in my last commentary, they need to go down to Orlando. Dwight Howard needs to show up and beast in that game, and he did. They had a dominating performance. They took care of business. Comfortable win. I was happy with it. Then they go to Atlanta. A team that's depleted. A team that, what, Josh Smith was out. Pachulia was out. Most of the guys on the floor were scrubs. And what do they do in that game? Close battle throughout the whole damn game and end up losing. The last four minutes of that game, what kind of fucking offense is that? Where you pass it down to Kobe in the post and he dribbles it out for about 18 seconds. And then when he finally figures out that he doesn't have anything going for him, he throws it out to somebody like Blake or someone that can't make up his own um, shot, who can't create his own shot, and then they don't get anything out of the deal. That shit happened for the last four minutes, and they ended up losing the game because of it. They didn't get the job done, and there's no way in hell that a team like the Lakers that's fighting just to make the playoffs can afford to throw, throw away games against teams like Atlanta. Atlanta isn't shit. They suck. Lakers should not have lost that game. So then they go to Indiana, a game that I pretty much threw away. Out of this road trip, I was like, they're not going to win this game. But they do. They totally redeem themselves from the Atlanta game and win that game. And I'm like, okay, all right, good team effort. Everybody came together, played really well, and they got themselves a quality win. Steve Blake played well. Jamison played well. Very good team win. I was impressed. It kind of made me forget about the Atlanta game for a while because shit like that's going to happen. I understand that bad losses will happen from time to time. So I was like, all right, they redeemed themselves, fine. Then they come back home and play Sacramento. Again, another team that sucks. I'm not going to pull any punches. They suck. They're not a very good team. Again, the Lakers needed to take care of business against that team if they want to make the playoffs and start getting on a roll. Now, they ended up having a comfortable win. It was a pretty close game through most, you know, throughout the game, but they end up taking control and winning the game. I was fine with that. Kobe was out. He's still hurt up until that point. But they get the win. Fine. They took care of business. So now to wrap up their little five-game series here, take care of business on the road, come back home, beat the Kings, go back on the road to play the Suns, who they lost against recently. So they should have had that fire in them saying, you know what, we're going to get this fucking team back. But what do they do? They lose. They lose against a Phoenix team that, again, isn't very good. They suck. They, I'm, they're, they're pretty bad. They're up there with the worst teams in the league, and they get blown out by 20-something. Now, I don't want to hear the back-to-back -back excuse, you know what, this is the NBA. They need to be ready. And like I said, the Suns suck. They have no business. A team that's trying to fight to make the playoffs cannot afford to lose against shit teams like this. And it's because of that that... I just don't see the Lakers doing crap. Good teams don't do this. I know you you can bring up, oh, they, you know, this sorry ass team almost beat the Heat, and I I, I don't want to hear that. For a team as desperate as the Lakers, that desperation should show into effort, and they should start getting results. They should do whatever they need to do to make sure that they don't lose these fucking games against these scrub teams, and they continuously do it. In five games, they lose against two shitty teams. Who do you think they're going to beat in the playoffs? If we can't even beat a team like the fucking Suns, the Hawks who've got nobody, 
keeping the game competitive against the Kings when the Lakers themselves are in, in desperation mode? Who the fuck are we going to beat? Denver? The Clippers? So, anyway, the Lakers just aren't going to do shit. I I'm sorry to say about it. They might make the, play the playoffs, but I just don't see them beating any quality teams with the way they've been playing. So, I'm fucking pissed now. We'll see what happens. I'm out.